Hey guys, dude here. Today is Monday. Well, I'm watching E3 2005 coverage because I, I don't know. The foof's still here. I'm supposed to go today, but the person picking up said it would be easier if she could do it on her way to work instead of like, because it's snowy and this makes sense. It's just like this happens with everything though. Not her fault. Just this thing that happens with everything where it's always like, we're gonna be doing this thing. Can't do it that day. Well, it'll, it'll happen tomorrow. And then it usually does happen the next day or like, you know, whatever day it was, it's going to happen next. But it always happens where it's like, can't do it on the day that we said we we're going to do it. Not the person's fault. I mean, just like generally with everything, with everything that happens to me, it's always like, no, no we have to do it this other day. No. It's like, well, f Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I am sitting here. Well, this was supposed to be loading up. Just doing more Wii stuff. I was thinking I would start learning how to like code for the Wii. Cause I was just like fucking annoyed with everything. Not everything, but just stuff not working. I thought, well, what if I just like learn to do shit? Like this, I'm pretty sure this just froze here. Yeah, it, it froze on initializing network. That's pretty funny. I know it's not gonna be easy. Like I know why things don't work, but it's just like, I guess I sort of have like the Steve Jobs Apple mindset with things where it's just like, everything's fucking broken. Why doesn't it just work? All you have to do is tell this thing to do one thing. Nothing else, it just has to do this one thing. And I know that really, in order to do that one thing, it has to do a whole bunch of other shit, but still, it's like, just make it work, and then ship it when it works, and not when it's fucking not even, yeah, whatever. In other news, uh, I, I put the table down, the filming stuff. Kind of unfortunate I never edited that video, but it wasn't a good video, I think. It just wouldn't have it's instantly just activate it's, it's an instantly initialized it's there it is wow so, i mean it's the wii like i don't know what i expect it's gonna not fucking just crash every three seconds but there's like stuff on here that's like i don't know why anyone would ever need any of these like this like eject dvd very simple program to eject the disc from the wii's dvd drive why would you need that you press the eject button even when a wii is completely low level bricked like dead it still ejects disk because well the firmware is on the the DVD drive and not the Wii itself but you know it still can eject disks and take disks in and when you turn it on it does the thing where it goes no let's download it let's see what the fuck this is if it does download a funny thing about the Libra shop here if you don't close the app by like pressing the home button and waiting for it to close it actually won't install anything like it installs but it doesn't oh yeah reconnect 24 and Wii Link merge together well it was more like reconnect 24 sort of surrendered its existence to we link but also they're keeping the reconnect 24 branding and they're keeping the reconnect 24 discord it's kind of weird anyway kind of actually mad that the reconnect 24 mail thing doesn't work like like uh, uh, like you can still send and receive mail on the wii when the wii is off reconnect 24 doesn't work even if it's in standby mode you don't get letters and you don't get the the wii light flashing i don't know why i'm pretty sure it used to work too because i remember it flashing sometimes but it just doesn't work anymore that's annoying i'll turn on the wii and there'll be like 15 check me out channel letters and it's like well that's that's unfortunate i could probably just like uninstall it and reinstall it and fix but i don't know pattern oh pattern view wii the animal crossing city folk pattern editor that doesn't work either i'm pretty sure i downloaded it already and it didn't work or something like that. Well, it's downloading again, so we'll just have to wait for that. I, I don't know what this vlog is. I just don't know what to talk about. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, for my for like future stuff too. It'd be great to know how to code, like you know, web stuff and like you know, the default whatever. And it shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be hard. It's just memorizing things. It's like editing. It's uh, not like editing, but it's like editing in that learning editing. All you gotta do is just do it and then stuff will come together and it'll be great. Like, that's how you learn best at things. Like, I mean, taking a course, sure, but like, not to like, learn everything at once, but just to, just to sit down and be like, I want to do this thing, I want to, I want to make this thing, and then just do it. And, and if you don't know how to do something that you need to do for that thing, learn it for that thing, and you'll, you'll actually remember it, and you'll learn as you go, instead of learning a bunch of information at once, and then going, well, I have all this how do I apply that to making this thing? You just make the thing and then learn the things you need for that thing and then that's how you do stuff. What is, like, okay, what is this app? Power check. Run this and it will tell you what the percentage of battery power is left in the connected remotes. Why would I need that? I'm downloading it, but why would I need that? Like, what the fuck? I guess, I mean, it's, that's the fun thing about homebrew is it's a bunch of shit that you just, you don't ever need, you'll never need this, but it's like fun. Like, oh, a thing to check the battery in my Wii remote? That's cool. Someone was probably like, the Wii knows how much battery's in the remote. 
how much does it know? And so they probably coded this and was like, yeah, that's, that's what that does. Let's share it with people. This could be a useful app. This turns on the sensor bar, but does not sync the remote. If your Wii remote, if there's no Wii remote synced to the Wii, the sensor bar doesn't turn on. I'm pretty sure. Voice card, I'm pretty sure. At least with the Wii U. I, did, I haven't actually tried it with this thing, but I've, I've, there have been times where I need to use a sensor bar with like on Dolphin or something. And it's like, well, I got to turn the, the Wii U on because it was on that TV and that had the sensor bar over there. Now it's over there, but this could be useful. Sure, download this. I'm, t I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I'm not that tired. My sleep schedule is completely reversed to how it was. Yet it's 1040 right now and I am getting that like, I'm tired. I could go to bed feeling. I think I might capitalize on it. Although, recording this has sort of given me a uh, second win sort of thing where I'm like, hmm, I kind of do want to get into learning how to code for, for the Wii. So, this thing is, there's so many languages, coding languages and real life languages. That's another thing I want to do. I want to learn another language in real life. I've been wanting to learn other languages since like fifth or sixth grade, but I was just, I just never had the discipline to do that. <laughs> What's this app? iOS 58 install. Uh, what does iOS 58 do? I think that's the USB 2.0 iOS? I don't remember. Downloads and installs iOS 58 from NUS. That's Nintendo Update Server. So it's Nintendo Server. And this app just installs it for you. I guess this came out in 2010. I'm trying to think of what, why this would be necessary. I guess if you had a Wii that was on firmware that wasn't 4.3 or like a lesser firmware. And 4.3 was new at the time, I think. You know, if you were on like system menu 3 point whatever or something like that i think 3.2 was the one that was like if you're on that version never update or whatever basically if you wanted to install iOS 58 to get the usb 2.0 stuff assuming that's what it is i think it is you can use this application to install that but also not up uh, not system update from the system settings and then have all your shit wiped so that makes sense why it's on here like why it would ever be necessary you know it's fine it's like it's uh, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but it's just like, it's like, why is that there? But also, I'd rather it be there than it not being there thinking about it. Because what if there was the situation where you had, you know, s for some reason needed iOS 58 and you just like didn't have access to a computer or something like because you could just download it from there and then put. I actually don't know why this is. I think just like for the historical sake, that's kind of, I don't know what the fuck is going on. There's no point. GBA link cable dumper, that's actually interesting. No description provided, but it, the name is pretty self-explanatory. I think you plug the GBA link cable into the into the GameCube controller ports, you can plug a GBA into that, and then it'll probably dump whatever ROM from the game on the GBA, probably. That's like, what else would it dump? The RAM, maybe. ROM sender, that's another thing. I've talked about this before, Nintendo channel. I think they could do so much with that, the reconnect 24 i guess now it's the wii link nintendo channel which is videos don't load at all on the wii link one they did on reconnect 24 but they were laggy as fuck they would they would buffer all the time but now there's no more scott the waz or avgn on there <laughs> which is stupid like who the fuck's gonna watch that like like first of all and second of all it never worked anyway it would never load you could watch like half a second and then it would load again but it's also funny the nintendo channel has a thing where through ds download play it would it would send little ds demos or roms or it's stuff and that was so cool. On those Nintendo channels, on those revived Nintendo channels, that they have shown that they can put their own ROMs in because there are ROMs of things and stuff that weren't there before. They could totally, I think, pet and like, uh, mm. I'm thinking of Pokemon for that. Because Pokemon had these had had events where you'd go to like a GameStop or something. You'd go to a store. They they would they would have uh, these kiosks or like there would be a DS you know in a closet somewhere always broadcasting this this uh signal that if you went into a pokemon game you could connect to and it would download whatever event or legendary pokemon or whatever thing they're giving out uh to you and i think they could totally do that on nintendo channel you might have to modify the roms because some of those were like actual ds cards that you'd put in, in a, an actual ds but well actually you could ha you could have it so that you download if you can't have it so that the wii itself just sends the Pokemon out, like the signal that those ROMs would have. You could send that ROM to... Oh, uh, but then this is kind of like piracy. I guess no one fucking gives a shit, because you're not supposed to have that, and then you're sharing that ROM through the internet. But also, they're sharing the ROM of those demos, but those are demos, so I don't know how that, would, how that works. But you could totally do that, and I think that would be great, because then people wouldn't have to look online at shady-ass sites to download these 
these ROMs or these Pokemon event cartridges, or look for them on eBay and probably pay some absurd price. GC Powder is a utility that allows you to send your GameCube controller is control. Sorry, it says controller apostrophe and then an S on the other side. Like what? The it's fine. It's just a tech. It works. Controllers inputs to your computer, other either wirelessly or using a USB. Gu That's actually cool. I could just buy the Wii U GameCube controller adapter, which I always wanted but never got. Uh, I guess as a kid, I was always scared to ask like for money or to buy things because I always thought, oh, she'll just say no because it's like everything I asked for was, it, as a, like when I was really young would be like really expensive or whatever and it'd be stupid. So I was just like, why bother asking? It'll probably be no. I, there's so many things I probably could have got if I just asked, like Cave Story. I, I don't know if I ever asked for that, but it was like five bucks or something. I don't know how much it was. It might have been ten dollars. I don't actually know how much that was. It's a WiiWare game, so it might have actually been more than that. Whenever I got Wii Points, I always just bought old games with it because I, you know, I don't, uh. the WiiWare titles always looked like shit. It's another iOS 58 installer. Is that the? No, it's the same one. Analyze your Wii's play history. That's cool. I know that the Wii does have a play history thing, because like through the play time on the on the message board, and then also Nintendo Channel acted as sort of a playtime thing, which since they updated to the Wii Link one, it stopped working, it doesn't work anymore. I might just I might just have to reinstall all the, the Reconnect 24 and stuff on here, and also the Wii Link stuff. I wanna mess with the Wii Link channels, which is like just the Japanese channels basically, but I think they have Kirby on there. My hope for the the reshop channel thing is that it lets you download the reconnect 24 like we link patched versions of apps it would show like you're scrolling through we channels it would show like three versions of something like here's like the news channel or whatever and then here's the news channel reconnect 24 and then like news channel or news channel we link or what you know stuff like that just have three separate versions of it and it would be like it'd be it'd be a bit bloated but like who the fuck cares cprom viewer it says release 2021, but it also says Team Tweezers. Whatever, download. Alright, I'm gonna press home and just exit that and see what the fuck we got here. I've recorded for 20 minutes, Jesus Christ. I hope this is a good video. It's not. Oh, I think it installed stuff because I'm seeing a different layout of icons on here. Alright, I'm starting up eject DVD first. No DVD and drive. Exiting. <laughs> Does it just eject? It just ejects the disc, doesn't it? That's cool. GBA link cable dumper. Let's start this. There's no picture, there's no description. Waiting for a GBA in port 2. Alright. Well, I don't have a GBA or a port 2. Well, I have that, but I don't have a link cable either. Oh, I can't connect my Wii remote, can I? Oh, it's one of these apps where it just doesn't fucking, it just breaks. I mean, it's not broken, it's still actually waiting for the GBA. It's just like, I have to walk up to the Wii and press reset, I assume. Nope, that doesn't even work either. For a second, I thought I was, I was banner bricked because the health and safety faded away but it didn't completely fade to black. Like I saw the text there faintly and then it was like stuck on black for a little second longer than it should have. I'll take a banner brick of, well actually, I don't know what the fuck would have caused a banner brick there cause I was just downloading shit from Libra Shop, but still, I would have taken the banner brick over any other brick really. Press A on GameCube pad one to use the network. Press start, reset, or home to exit. I'd have to like start my computer and probably like install some program there. I'll mess with that later or never or whatever. Pair my DS4 is where you could you could pair like a DualShock 4 with. There's one for the, the DualShock 3, but you could put a du DualShock 4 into the Wii. It doesn't work. I don't know if the firmware on the DualShock 4 itself, because this is the second version of the DualShock 4, not the first one, but the firmware, well, even on the first one, because I can update the firmware. When I plug it into the Wii, it like it's charging and then immediately stops and it's like there's no power on the other controller. You can't press the PlayStation button to turn it on. It's just like no power. And I assume that Sony, because they're Sony, specifically put in a thing to, be, like, turn off the controller if it detects it's plugged into, like, a fucking Wii or something. I don't know. Because, like, that sounds stupid, but they'd totally do that because they're Sony. Uh, play, play stats. Oh, my God. Total sessions, 179. Total time played is apparently 42,000 days, 8 hours, 4 minutes, 25 seconds. Average time per session, 19,000 days. First play is January 1st, 2009. It's, I was thinking like, that's like the default date because it's 1-1, one, one. but it said like 9-33, so it was like, was that the build date of the system? But like, no, it's definitely not. That's definitely like, it was 9 o'clock one day in the, the Wii, like, just thought it was 2009, like that sort of thing. Animal Crossing 43 times. That makes sense. I played it for like 30 days in a row. I haven't played it the past five days. Oh, this is longest time played, like, longest time in a game consecutively, not the total time. That makes sense, because I feel like... 
Animal Crossing would have been... Oh, what the fuck? 42... Th oh, so that's that's the one with the 42,000. How did that get like that? How did Animal Crossing get... Wait, no. It shouldn't be 42,000 days. It doesn't make sense. What? This dude has 50,000 hours on Fortnite. <laughs> I love that video. July 13th, 2010. That might be real. I wish I knew what this long string of text is, but apparently at 7 o'clock, July 13th, 2010, someone opened this. And then 3 5 2020, I think, is me. Apparently, I haven't played Wii Sports since the 5th of, of January 2021. I forgot to back up Wii Sports to the hard drive. I didn't do that. That's that app. That's interesting that the Wii tracks all of that, but you can't ever see it except for in... not You can't even really see it in Nintendo Channel. I forgot what it was. My mouth is so fucking dry right now. Pattern view. Is it going to crash again? It crashed. I don't think it's going to start. That's what that is. That's what that bricked Wii looks like when you turn it on. It just does that. Oh, now here's the interesting one. Power check. Holy shit. Oh, look at that. 63%. It's got an actual percentage. I wish I could connect my balance board, but it doesn't connect. It doesn't sync. I don't know if it's broken or if it's just like, if I need to have Wii Fit to connect a balance board, but it just won't sync. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this, this app is kind of sus. This one called Rumbler. Features, nice GUI, rumbles at maximum intensity. You can toggle the rumble with whatever, to do, wishlist, rumbling patterns. External controller, GameCube, classic controller support. Those can't rumble, but it could be useful to some people. This app seems kind of fucking sus. I don't know. Don't ask why I have it. This app will display the contents of your CPRON. There's that. I hope maybe that's useful to some people. There's a lot of zeros there. There's just a lot of nothing on that. But okay. Yeah, I assume the sensor bar is on, and my Wii Remote's definitely not synced anymore, and it, it won't sync. So, yeah. That's what that does. That'd be great for, um... Something. Oh, it's one of those. Oh, those are the worst, where it just, it just turns off. I mean, I guess it makes sense. But you could have at least added a reset button feature to just take you back to Homebrew Channel, but... What's next on here? Visual controller test. Oh my god. Oh, they got, they got the fucking uh, Rock Band or Guitar Hero controller on there. It could be either, really. Oh, it's got the whole motion and pointer and everything in there. You can see the accelerometers. Oh, and it shows battery percentage. It went from 63 to 37%. Home plus A vibrates. It does. I think that's everything I downloaded. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what this vlog's gonna be. I'm gonna hate editing it later because it's for 40 minutes long, but that's fine. Purple guy. I wore this to the FNAF movie. I just, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully that foof is out of here by then. By the time I see you, not by tomorrow. Well, I mean by tomorrow also, but...